Well, there are many laws that keep safety top of mind for patients visiting a doctor's office. CBS4's Kaylee Schuyler spoke with a local attorney about those rights and what to do if you suspect medical malpractice. The doctor's office should be a place of care and safety. Patients, I think, often feel that they're powerless and and in fact, they, they should not feel that way. They but Indiana University professor of law Jody Madeira says sometimes physicians can take advantage of patients in vulnerable situations. During a gynecological exam or an exam where you don't see everything the physician is doing, you know, um, that is an opportunity that an unscrupulous physician might take. Uh, to take photographs or to touch intimately in a way um, in which that that physician is not a clinical, you know, standard of care. Patients should know consent is always required. If the doctor is doing these things without a conversation, without asking the patients to sign paperwork, then that that's not normal. If you believe malpractice has happened during a doctor's visit, Madeira says first talk with your physician, ask why they're following certain procedures and get a copy of your medical records before you leave so they cannot be altered. Also file a complaint with the medical board in Indiana, which licensed physicians. Lastly, hire an attorney and see what your options might be. Get the legal process moving forward. Now in Indiana, patients have to go before what's called a medical review board in order to determine if there's been malpractice before filing suit. The board is composed of a team of doctors that will look at the evidence and decide whether malpractice has occurred. If it appears that something is indeed wrong, then medical malpractice attorneys can actually help talk patients through the process, identify, you know, likely outcomes. Madeira says the cases very rarely go to court. Most are sorted out between the patient and the health system, but they can be hard to prove. In Indianapolis, Kaylee Schuyler, CBS4 News.